Hello and welcome to episode 69 and uh, for this episode I've come out on a sort of a bit of a whim really a bit of a weekend where I'm kid free so I uh, thought what can I do rather than being stuck in the house watching telly I know that, let's go fishing so I uh, sort of denied about where to go and I thought oh no let's come down Claydon Pit which is near Letchley and Gloucester and can't I do a bit of tench fishing for a change? So here I am, I'm at Claydon Course Fishery, already fishing. You join me under the uh, brolly because it's a bit of a wet and dismal day. But wet and dismal, and uh, the rain that we're expecting as it is, I thought I'd come out fishing. Beats being stuck in the house watching crap on the telly all day. So here I am. So 69. 69. <laughs> right. I'm already fishing. Phone. So um yeah. Hopefully it won't be long before these um tench start turning up, which I'm uh, aiming for today. Until then, let's go fishing. I'm going to show the rig that I'm uh, fishing to catch these tench or the tench I've caught so far but I'll be continuing to fish pretty much exactly the same as, a, as if I was carp fishing a one slight difference which we'll get to so I'm fishing single grain Pink fake corn, wide gay book, tiny bit of shrink tubing just to kick it over, short three inches of supple braid hook link, sinker in the middle just to keep it all pinned down, and then this is the only difference where uh, the, the tench fishing is uh, different from me carp fishing. I've got a one and a half ounce lead just scaling down the weight rather than a sort of the two and a half, three ounces I normally fish when I'm carp fishing and I'm still using a braided, unleaded leader material so pretty, like I said, pretty much the same as I was, I was carp fishing the only difference is I scale down the, the lead size all that's going into a solid PVA bag of hindered little gems pellets. That's what's caught me that tench so far. Hopefully more to come. <laughs> okay, okay young Steve. What, what what are you doing here? Well just uh putting a, a roach jelly on a well not a jelly because that'd be silly. It'll just melt. What is it um a strawberry jelly or a yeah, it's a, it's a strawberry flavoured roach uh, jelly shad uh, in the hope of... <laughs> right, there you go then. Let's go fishing. Right then, ducky. <laughs> right, Right then there, Jeremy Beadle fans, we'll uh, yeah. catch you later. Bye guys. Attention on the 
Let's see if I can get a fanatic tail. That's the size of that tail. Absolutely massive. Quite a distinctive looking tench. Got a birthmark on his face just under his eye. But might not be exactly tension season, but still catching tench. Lovely jovely. Right, let's get this one back, try and get another one. Right then guys, I'm going to try a bit of a different tactic. I've just lost the fish, so while I've got a rod out of the water, I'm going to put a bit of bait out. So I'm going to use a little mini, mini spawn. But well, I've taken the leader off the end of the loop of me main line. I'm going to do is a pass the loop through the swivel on the spawn. Pass the whole loop around the spawn, or the spawn through the loop. And there you go, it's attached to the swivel on the spawn. Via loop to loop. And the bait up, I brought with me good old cheap sweet corn, just one bag of it, cost about a quid in the supermarket. And then when I recast the rig out, I'm going to use some fake yellow corn rather than the pink. So, Get some uh, corn out there and uh, bait up a little patch. Although well, I'm happy with the two tench I've had so far on this dismal day. Out of me three runs. I'm still going to put a bit of bait out anyway. Try and get some more. Just finished uh, spawning up that kilo of sweet corn over the two rods. Both cast out now on the fake yellow instead of the fake pink. Just got to wait for one of these babies to uh, scream off now and get tension number three. Hopefully very soon.
How does that work then? Screaming run. You strike into thin air. Oh no. Got him on that time. Ah, come off. Bugger. God knows why, nothing wrong with that rig. Hi guys. After a phantom run and a lost fish, my next run produced this one. The biggest tent I've had today so far, I'd say. Female tench, probably about four pounds. As I said before, I'm not weighing these fish today, just putting them straight back. Just enjoying the bit of opportunity fishing I've had today. That's all good. Let's get it back. Because I think the other rod might go. Alright guys, I'm going to call it a day there. As you can see, the rods are still out at the moment. But as soon as I finish this piece of camera, I'm going to wind the rods in. Today was just a bit of opportunist fishing. I had nothing else to do, and uh, yeah, sort of come fishing. Oh, throwing that low. There's a bleep. So I might just hang on a couple more minutes. But yeah, it's been a bit of opportunity fishing today. Didn't know I was going to be fishing this weekend, so I just thought I'd uh, get the rods up for a short day session, and it's resulted in a few tench on the bank. So I'm happy with that. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.